Nathaniel White, born July 28, 1960, is an American serial killer. Active in the Hudson Valley region of New York during the early 1990s, White confessed to beating and stabbing six women to death while on parole. Killings White claimed to have found inspiration for his first murder while watching RoboCop 2. The first girl I killed was from a RoboCop movie. I seen him cut somebody's throat then take the knife and slit down the chest to the stomach and left the body in a certain position. With the first person I killed I did exactly what I saw in the movie. Quote. This first killing took place on March 25, 1991, after White had been convicted of abducting a 16-year-old girl. But before he started his prison sentence, and Paulus did not make the connection at the time, in a plea bargain that would later be heavily criticized, White had pleaded guilty to a misdemeanor for the abduction and would therefore be eligible for parole after just one year. White's first victim was the young niece of his girlfriend, whom he killed at the end of June, and he killed four others during the month of July. Victims Juliana R. Frank White's first victim was Juliana Frank. 29, of Middletown, who was pregnant with her third child when she was killed in 1991. Christine M. Kleb White's youngest victim was Christine Kleb, 14, who had just finished 8th grade. The niece of White's girlfriend, Jill Garrison, Kleb disappeared on June 29. Her family reported her missing on July 1. 1992 and her body was discovered off of Echo Lake Road in Goshen, New York on August 4. Lorette Huggins Riviere Lorette Huggins Riviere, 34 of Middletown, was killed July 10 and found in her home in Middletown by the police. She was a mother of three children and a close friend of White's girlfriend. Her children even slept over at White and Garrison's house a few weeks before her murder. She was in the midst of packing to go back to her home country of St. Vincent with her family when she was murdered. Angelina Hopkins and Brenda L. Whiteside Cousins Angelina Hopkins and Brenda Whiteside met White at the Blue Note Tavern in Poughkeepsie, New York on July 20, 1992. They were last seen leaving the bar with him in his pickup truck. Their bodies were found off of Harriman Drive in an abandoned farmhouse in Goshen on August 4. Adrian M. Hunter Adrian Hunter of Middletown, was stabbed to death in the early morning July 30, 1992. Her body was discovered in Goshen later that day, in the charred remains of the Hillcrest Manor restaurant. She was 27. Investigation the bodies of Hopkins and Whiteside were discovered in this house on Harriman Drive in Goshen on August 4. The body of Adrain Hunter had been found nearby a few days earlier. Angelina Hopkins's sister, Cecilia, witnessed Hopkins and Whiteside leaving the Blue Note Tavern with four men on the night of their disappearance. Poughkeepsie police did not act on the missing person report as they did not have enough information about the men so Cecilia and her mother continued investigating on their own. The New York State Police began investigating on July 30th, after the body of Adrian Hunter was found and authorities began to suspect it was related to the earlier disappearances and murders. On August 2nd, White returned to the Blue Note where Hopkins identified him and he was arrested. White confessed and led police to his dumping ground in Goshen on August 4th. White was arraigned by a grand jury on August 7 for the murder of Christine Kleb. On September 9, the other five murders were added to the indictment. White's case was cited by New York Governor George Pataki in defense of his push to reinstate the death penalty.